Hey, Super Fizz here. It is Sunday, uh, April 27th. It's going to be a Monday, April 27th. Sorry, we're on a quarantine lockdown. I don't know days of the week anymore. Something really weird's going on. Interesting. Uh, Offrey tweeted that the uh, multi client test net is up and available. Um, So, what? I didn't know this was coming. I mean, I knew it was coming. I didn't know it was today. I didn't know it had been uh, discussed. I'm not really clear on all the facts, uh, but I'm excited. I sent some deposits there, um, and I realized that some other people might want um, some instructions on getting deposits into the multi-client testnet. As I understand it, this is the testnet that um, proceeds mainnet launch and even though it will probably restart a few times the fact that it's launching today seems to me to be a big deal the only reason i'm a little confused is because i wasn't aware of an announcement and i honestly didn't believe it the first time um i saw it from uh eric connor i was like what no eric come on but he apparently is is correct uh this happened four hours ago it is one o'clock central time and I, I have there are things that I'm not sure about, but in the meantime, I want to give uh, other people some some help on getting into this test net uh, based on what I know, and with the realization that everything I know could be wrong. Eh, that's all right. I'm learning too. So uh, this is the tweet. I'm going to put all these links in the bottom of the YouTube video. Um, but what I want to do is use uh, the ETH do tool to create raw transaction data and then use MetaMask to send that transaction data to this multi-client testnet. So when it reaches 15,800 whatever validators, it will go live. Now, the thing that I'm a little confused about is uh, it looks like I've seen a recording of the chain already live, which is different than... So that means that the deposit contract would have been launched a few days ago. I don't know. I haven't actually done a lot of research into what the current status is. I just wanted to um, give ch people a chance to uh, get a validator on it, and then we'll figure it all out as we go. What I believe should happen is that if if the contract was launched this morning, then it should take fifteen thousand, um, like a half million ether in deposits, and then wait till midnight and then 24 hour or midnight UTC and then 24 hours past that midnight UTC um, the Genesis block would be created uh, I believe we're in that stage right now where we're collecting those 15,000 validators or 500,000 ETH um, I could be wrong uh, but let's go ahead uh, let me help you get uh, ETH do installed with the minimum I'm not I'm not trying to go through whole walkthrough. I'm trying to get the minimum done so that you can submit a deposit. Uh, feel free to copy and paste any of these commands. Um, before ethdo will install, you have to install a few dependencies. Um, ethdo is based on Go. The reason I use this is because it's a hierarchical deterministic uh, Ethereum 2 wallet. That means that um, I'll be able to have a 24 word seed phrase to manage my validator keys, which is ideal for me so I've installed dependencies now I can invo install snap oh, duh. install go I'm really excited and I'm not gonna take you directly to the page I'm just gonna you can do your own research I've put out other videos um, I'm really just copying and pasting commands to help you get this done as quickly as possible So we're going to install ethdo, we're going to create an HD wallet with ethdo, then we're going to use that HD wallet to create raw transaction data, then we're going to install MetaMask, we're going to get 32 Ethereum, uh, 32 testnet Ethereum, um, and send that Ethereum along with raw transaction data to the multi-client testnet contract, um, and then, as I understand it, wait for enough deposits for the contract to launch. And so now we're going to 
I'm not going to talk through these. I'm just going to copy paste them. Oops, that's the wrong button. So I'm creating a wallet called validators. Oh, okay, so I need to add to my source. Oh, let me do one more command here. Export path equals um, I think this will work. Okay. Um, so uh, ETH2 wasn't in the path. I had to add it to the path. I've created a wallet called validators and now I'm going to create one validator account in that wallet. Now, you're going to change all these passphrases to something that you will never lose. I'm using, oh, because I'm sorry, I copy pasted directly. Huh. Sorry. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and append that to my directions before I forget. And so I created a validator wallet. I also need to create a separate wallet for the withdrawal keys. And I also need a wallet passphrase. All right, uh, and so now ETH2 is installed. Now I have, I also need to create, okay. So I have a validator wallet and a validator account. I have a withdrawal wallet and a withdrawal account. Now I can create raw transaction data. And really I can just copy paste this. I always put it in a script, but I'm just gonna copy paste it. That will give me the raw transaction data. So this is the big piece I need to go now over to um, MetaMask. Actually, what I want to do, I want to show you where this, here's the contract address that we'll need. So with 2400 either, it means that um, the contract is not launched. It's just starting. Apparently there have been 76 transactions. Um, it's just warming up. There's still plenty of time to get in fresh. So here are the two pieces of information that I need for MetaMask. The raw transaction data from um, ETH2 and the contract address uh, from Etherscan that we know is legit because it was tweeted by Offrey. Now, for the real mainnet, we're going to want to make very certain that we've got the right transaction address because it would be um, a troll would definitely want to get you to send money to their account or the wrong network. Uh, now we need to download and install MetaMask, which I have not, let's see. I like to do everything on a clean target because I know that not everyone is used to these tools. Um, and I know that I'm going fast today, but I'm very goal oriented. I, it's so important that when you do this for real that you take more time and make sure that you're using unique passwords and security. I'm not doing that because this is just a demo, but it's so important that you do it in the real world. Real world. Trail clip demand. Tennis clerk actress. Gallery mushroom. Okay, um, now I can use this account and get some ETH. I'm going to copy that. And let me go send some.
Okay, so in a little bit I should have ETH here. Now, uh, it's hard sometimes, it took me a while to figure out how to get this full screen view of MetaMask. If you don't have this view, um, begin up here and beside accounts, click the three dots and then click expand view and it's gonna give you the full screen view. You have to use this because you're gonna be doing some cutting and pasting. Now when we're in MetaMask waiting for that transaction, we need to change the settings to allow hex data. So I'm gonna come down to advanced and I'm going to hit show hex data. And now I can close that back. And I'm just waiting a second for that transaction to come through to make sure I actually sent it. I didn't hit confirm. So it should pop up here in just a minute. Then all I need to do is send a transaction with the raw transaction data and the correct contract address, and it should show up on the list. Let's go ahead and prepare the send. Uh, so I get the contract address right from Offrey's tweet because right now that is the uh, that's the best source of information. And I'm still waiting on that ETH. Wonder if I made a mistake somewhere. Let's see where I sent that to. 46B. I sent it to a different address somehow. Yeah, that's, that is 46B. Let me keep checking. We view this address on either scan. Uh, I'm on mainnet. That's why. Sorry, I should have changed this to mainnet a long time ago. There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, a lot of excitement right now. Thanks. You're probably looking at your keyboard screaming at me. Change to Gurley. Okay. Um, so I'm on Gurley. I can send this deposit now um, to this testnet contract. I'm going to send 32 ETH. And the hex data comes from here. And now when I go back and look at the contract, um, I should see that deposit come in in just a minute. Now, the only thing that's really interesting to me is that this isn't getting more deposits more quickly. Um, that may either be maybe because I'm confused or maybe because it's just not popular yet. Um, at any rate, in just a couple seconds, it has been confirmed. Should show up here. Did I send it to A155? Yes. Okay, and there's the transaction. Uh, with what might be a new validator on the multi-client testnet, maybe. Um, now, so there's a whole lot more than this. When the testnet launches, you're going to need to run your validator using um, Prismatic or Lighthouse or one of the other clients that is up to the latest spec. But I hope this helped you. Um, I hope that I understand. Uh, feel free to ask questions or correct me. All right, that's it. Thanks.